All right, y'all, this is gonna be the first from Da Nang over here in the central part of Vietnam, starting off with one of my favorite videos, a little market video we're gonna go in, show you at Chờ Con, a couple eats that you gotta do when you come here in Da Nang. Y'all, this is the first one of central Vietnam. It feels good to finally be in this part of Vietnam and get it underway, but it's actually afternoon. We're going on an afternoon food hunt and I'm starving, so let's get it started. Not wasting any time, got through all of the clothes and stuff, came here right to the food market, which seems like it's almost like right in the center of the market. So it's just an array of benches. You got two ladies set up, but what you want to go for is the ban chang de kheo, be me. The other side's full. It looks like the popular side, but it's cool. Let's sit on this side. Yeah, come on, you. Oh, got a mom, mom them. Yeah, this comes with the mum nim and that is some potent mum nim. I mean, that will that will uh, blow you away if you're not ready for it. So they're not gonna sit here and replenish it for you. It's just all ready to go. They got the rau, they got the actual cucumber and mango ready to go. Got it in huge heaps, so they're not having to come out here and refill it each time because they got people coming on here. And it's lunchtime, and the orders to go are coming in hot. Cleaning my chopsticks with sandpaper real quick. <laughs> so I use these napkins, but sometimes it feels more like sandpaper. Yo, I'm so for this. They got the mum nim, they got the mum kalin ready to go. They got all types of mum products ready for sale. Got a roll, just a quick dip in the mum nim. You see all of the beautiful little particles of fish in there. Hmm. Oh good. What I'm digging is actually the texture here because you get the ban chang and you get the ban kun. You see it with ban kun as well. So it's like silky, smooth, slick. You get just a little bit of pork and that intense, potent, potent. It's gonna make you burn from that fermentation mum nim and then that nice, addition of chili and garlic. Mm. Ooh, always feels good to get the first bite done in the day, but we got a lot more to go. Just sticks on there. Oh yeah, I see it right there, digging for the yip ga. I love the scallions, yip ga, lots of cilantro. It's kind of the combination I like to go with on my vegetable here. One piece of meat is enough per wrap too. It's just thick enough where you can feel it, but not too thick. It's gonna overpower everything else you're wrapping in there. Scoop, actually you wanna scoop, get some of that fish particle. Mm. Mm. I do wanna go ahead and get a little extra garlic action with mine right here. Mm. Mm. Now what I'm in love with this right here, of course the mum nim, just letting the mum nim speak for itself, but then adding garlic and chili to it. There's no sugar in this. There's no pineapple in this. There's no cutting it with anything like that. Just literally gonna let the beauty of the funky, fragrant mum nim come through. Mm. And you know, the pork's not gonna give you a lot of flavor. It's just boiled, but the way they've cooked it to where the fat on the edge has just a little bit of give to it. But other than that, as soon as you bite through it and snap through it, it's gonna kind of start to melt in your mouth. It's just the, again, hitting the consistencies on point with this. It's not just gonna blow you away with the mum nim, but all the textures are on point. Hmm. Best bites when you get that fish hanging on there. Mm. <laughs> and if you don't believe me that this place is delicious, just look around, it is a full house right now. Come here. Yeah, come on you. Hi, hi, Milam Nam. Hi, Milam Nam. Okay, come on you. Rock Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah.
Yeah, that first spot was uh, a winner. And the fun thing about this market is you don't have to go far. Literally just can still see the other spot. Came here for a little chair to cool down and get my mind straight. Dao Sen, Dao Da, Dao Chang. Rất nhiều nước cậu nhiều. Cục nhiều đấy, nhiều đấy. Yeah, nhiều hả? Nhiều đấy. Wow, rất nhiều. Trời ơi. Yeah, cảm ơn nhiều. Cảm ơn cậu. Cảm ơn đi. And it's a simple order for me, just her dot cam. You see, you actually got the red bean, a white bean, her mung bean, and then a big o, almost looks like a lentil. She, and she gave me a lot of coconut sauce, which is my favorite. Before I mix it in though, I'd, it'd be a shame not to just try that coconut sauce. Look how rich, thick, and creamy that is. Ooh. I'm glad I got a lot of that. Gong. Wow, nook coat you're a gong. Oh, that is so rich, so fatty, such an intense coconut flavor. That's coconut cream, basically. I could just sit here and eat that. Ooh. I'm telling you what, no matter what you put with that coconut sauce, it's gonna be good, I bet. Mm. Oh my gosh. Usually chad is nice, light, refreshing, cool you down, but there's nothing light about that. With all that coconut cream, that's heavy, has rich, the sweetness coming through it. I couldn't have found anything better after that first dish. Mm. Mm. So she's been selling for 30 years, and for good reason. Yeah, come, come on you. And right across from the place where we had the Banjang de Hill, you got an alt place, which will lure you in from the aroma of lemongrass. Not only that, the decoration with the chilies and the fact that the day is early and it is already half sold out. Each little bucket, I should say pot, cauldron, is halfway sold already. Not only is she gonna give you a heaping pile of snails with that broth that you've been simmering in, like I said, it's a lot of chilies, lemongrass, it's just so aromatic. Then she's gonna give you papaya, mango, cucumber, all the fried and dried out shallots, and then coating it in a little nook mom chili and garlic mixture. I'm making my mouth water just talking about it. Okay, gonna need an uplin. Okay. Rất Yeah, don't worry. Okay. Nothing big, you And you can't come here. She got three types, so you got to get each one. We got the op lin, op da, and the op hoop. I think. I hope. I don't think that was bad Vietnamese, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna start with something near and dear to my heart. The op lin, you see these all the time in Saigon, but they actually cook them in a coconut sauce, so they're sweet, they're rich, they're coconut. It's gonna be completely different. And look, they're actually a lot bigger as well here with their dialect. They call them like a op lin. Like I said, I call them op lin, and they're a lot bigger than the ones you get in Saigon. Now all I gotta do is just give it a little suck. Cough? Ooh. <clears throat> oh, that's spicy. Look at me, I'm turning red already. But it's not too much heat. It's instead just enough to make you realize you gotta go back in for another one, and another one, and another one. Mm. Oh. That is fresh chili spiciness. Garlic breath working full force. A touch of umami from the Nook Mom. Lemongrass aroma perfectly cooked. 
snails. It's gonna be good. Now I wanna get the papaya and the nook mum. The sauce that these have been simmering in with the mango and chili and then the dried and fried shallots. Mm. And I almost forgot, it's got the little bit of coconut in there well for that snap. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you something, this right here are the flavors that I crave every single day. This is something I could eat every day and never get tired of. It's spicy, making the lips red again, but not too much. It powers you away, but instead makes you crave more. You get the fresh fruits, you get the coconut, you get the papaya, the crunchiness, the garlic, the lemongrass. Mm. Mm. Yeah, be careful. These little ones, sometimes they come out a little too fast. Oh, that's good. These little ones though. I'm not a big fan of little ones. I like the Lin and the other long one as well. Those are two of my favorite. Yo, I got a layer of glisten to me right now. That's how spicy this is. Hmm. I can sit here and drink this broth they've been simmering in. Hmm. And back out here at the bikes. I forgot to mention, the op lady been there for 40 years. I can't remember if I said something or not, but if I did, Sorry if I repeated myself. Anyways, before I hop back on my bike and we get going, got one more thing you gotta eat. It's right here where you park your bike. Uh, yeah, and that's for some falao chong. So chong would just be like mixed and then falao is what I've eaten all the time in Saigon which is like opal stew, it's like a coconut sauce but this is completely different. This is actually again looking like that chong style where it's going to be in a salad but you get plenty of the opal. I think they had about every little piece you could imagine in this bowl. Alright so this table is set up typical central style. You actually get the tack, that's pretty rare. They've been having a hard time finding tack. You get the chilies, the garlic, the banda. You got a little, almost chili, dried chili mixture. And you got a garlic mixture here. You got the actual cha, which would be the Vietnamese sausage. And then what I'm gonna guess is a nim chu, which would be a sour sausage. Get it going with just a little bit of that garlic mixture, a little bit of the satay, toss it, and just see what it needs. I'm not, I'm not sure, I've never eaten this before. I don't think you have to tell me, I need a little extra dollop of the garlic sauce. Now it's a lot, a lot of salad in the actual vegetation and herb mixture. You do see some little things like some peppermint and some that are hard to tell because they've chopped it so, so, so finely. A little bit of everything here. Again, working with the same profiles here. Got a lot of garlic, a little more sweetness coming from this. You got the mango, you got all the herbs. Again, you got the shallots been dried and fried. And that's kind of the problem. This is the fourth thing I've eaten today. I feel like if I would have started with this, it'd been really good. But because I already had the mum nim, because I already had those snails that were so spicy and flavor packed, it's kind of hard to follow up with this because it's so light. It's delicious, but it's so light compared to the other things. And I'm not grabbing about how they executed it. They did it perfectly. Some of these oval pieces are nice, soft, creamy. Some are a little bit cartilagey and chewy. They're clean. I just find myself craving a little bit more. I find like, wow, I do need like the mum nim or maybe you know what go good with this is like I said, some coconut. I'm used to having coconut flavor with all this opal. 
I think if I would have eaten this first, you sit in a completely different dynamic. If you're gonna have this, make sure you don't eat a lot before it. It's like your appetizer, your starter. I've just had too many bold flavors already today to go to something nice, light and sweet and delicate. Still wanna show my appreciation, not leave any left. Ooh, a good way to finish it off. So I was actually looking for the fallout in the market and this is them, they've moved out. So that was good to know that uh, sometimes you're lucky and you do get the right place. Been here 30 years after talking to them. He said they, they used to stay on the market, now they sell here. So it's kind of how I knew. Other than that, yeah, eat that first. It's, it's really good, but man, you're getting the garlic, you're getting a little bit of chili, the mango, all the different textures. It's the perfect salad to start your eating adventures. I missed that, but I had it last. So it's right here where you park, come park, walk right over here, eat that, then go in the market, go on a food adventure. That's that's the order you want. Sorry we didn't converse with the sellers as much either. Uh, one thing I didn't know, and I found out with this first one in Da Nang, uh, the central Vietnamese accent is hard for me to understand. <laughs> Anyways, that's the first one, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We're gonna do nothing but get better from here. So Max, I'll catch you at the next one. Peace.